back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to unbox, well pretty much it's already unboxed, but I'm going to give you my review of the Ninja Foodie Extra Large Smart Grill. I'm loving it. I used it last night. I wanted to use it first before I can actually give you guys a review on it. So I can tell you that I really like it. It works really, really well. Last night we had some grilled chicken, some sausage. So like I said, since I used it, obviously it's already unboxed, but I still have the box I wanted to show you. And here is the unit. The unit itself is about 20 pounds. So it's a little bit heavy, but if you have like a designated spot for it, then that's even better. And they give you three cooking pots. So your first one is going to be cooking pan. And this is what is always gonna go in the bottom of the unit. No matter which other attachment that you use, you're always gonna use the cooking pan first. And I'll show you how that goes in there. Now, there's different features. So you can grill, bake, broil, even dehydrate and air crisp all in this one unit so this is your cooking pan this is your grill grate your grill pan that will go inside like that and then if you're going to use the air fryer this is your air crisper basket and again it always will go inside your pan like that so what they give you is these three pans they give you a cleaning brush which is really good for the grill. But also I noticed last night when I was cleaning it that the material that it's made with is really, really easy to, like for the greasy stuff to come off. So you'll just brush it off. So that's that. And you get your owner's guide. They give you just basically like a quick start guide. And on the back, it's like a diagram of everything that you can make and use. And then they give you this Ninja Foodie Smart like recipe guide. And it's really nice because it's got like colored pages and really good recipes inside. So I'm going to be using this for sure. And also, if you're making steak, like the different levels of doneness. So this is a really good guide. So now I'm gonna show you the unit. It comes with this splatter shield, which is removable and washable. It just comes right out and you can wash it. And then it just pops right in. And you can see the heating element in there. And then I'll show you how it just pops right back in. That's it. Always what's gonna go first is your cooking pan. So you'll see a little notch and it goes right in. You can see this notch right here. It just goes right into it. So this goes on the bottom. And then like I said, depending on what you are cooking, like tonight I'm gonna be making the pork chops on the grill, so I'll be placing this right in here. This is the great thing about it, it also has a built-in thermometer for the meat. And I'll show you as well how this works, but it's really easy. So you just unfold it, and then it comes right out. And this part is magnetic, so you can even put it on your fridge or just go right back like that. So now I'm gonna bring you over to the stove and I'm going to set it up, and then I'm gonna show you how it cooks and how I actually prepare the food to put it on. So it's recommended to use avocado oil because the other oils such as olive oil burn fast. So you can use grapeseed oil, you can use coconut oil spray. They have a lot of different kinds of sprays, but like I said, it's just recommended not to use olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the grill pan and then I'm going to let the unit preheat. So the first thing that you want to do is plug the thermometer into the jack and then you want to select the desired cooking function 
So I will be using grill. You'll use the left arrows to select the desired cook temperature. Then you will hit the preset button and then use those right arrows to choose what protein you are going to make. And then you will hit start. And then you will see those little lines go across the screen and illuminate and that will indicate that the unit is preheating. Once it's done preheating, you will see add food. As you can see, the cooking surface space is really big on here. These pork chops were pretty big, so it fit all four nicely. Then I went ahead and I just inserted that thermometer into the thickest part of the pork chop. And basically that is it. And then you just go ahead and close the lid. When it's about halfway through, it will illuminate to flip the food. So you just go ahead, lift it up, flip the food over. Look at those beautiful grill marks. The food turned out amazing. I was really surprised at how they came out. And I even went ahead and used my own meat thermometer just to make sure. And it was at like 173. So they were just perfect. So it's the next night and I decided to make some chicken wings. It was super easy and they turned out amazing. All I did was marinate the chicken wings and a little bit of Italian dressing and some seasoning. I went ahead and used my air crisper basket set to air crisp. I sprayed it with a little avocado oil spray, preheated it, and I set it on medium for about 15 minutes, flipping them halfway through. They turned out amazing, super crispy, cooked perfectly. So I hope that you guys liked today's video, my little review of the Ninja Foodie XL Grill. Please give this video a like, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you again real soon in my next video.